Okay, this is the next summer that I've, well, it's been one year since I built my solar water heater. You can see on my channel that there was another video um, posted of when I first built it. One of the things you'll notice that's different is there's no tank outside there on the ground. <clears throat> well, I've made some changes. A couple of you have uh, given me some suggestions and I listened, so I'll show you what I did. In this building, right next door, I've got incoming cold water and another hose for outgoing hot water. And right here, I have this old 52 gallon electric water heater. Of course, it's not connected to electricity. It's simply a storage tank. Instead of using compressed air to push my uh, hot water out, I'm using the incoming water which as it comes in through that narrow washing machine hose um, when the pump is on during the day it immediately gets pulled through that pump and outside and through that coil outside where it then comes back in well not that hose that's the outgoing hot water this is the hot water coming in from the coil into here and it constantly cycles it on probably 20 minute long intervals throughout the day on a timer. The water, the incoming water, gets uh, gets up to about 120 degrees at times. Right now it's probably probably only about 110, not too much. It's only been running for about an hour. But this is much, much better than it was before. And I'm very happy with it. And thanks to a couple of you giving me some ideas. I now have a uh, solar water heater that I can definitely use and which I have uh, used pretty much all summer long and had to only burn, run my boiler maybe for a couple days so far. This thing for the most part does the job and because it's an insulated tank now I have hot water the next morning too before I even turn it on. It holds the hot water overnight. So that's that. I'm very happy with it.